Tishby, wow. Um, you've talked about this several times today. I, I really would love to understand, I've been to Israel twice, when you go into the term from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. What does that mean when somebody's Jewish? Do they, do what, what happens when they hear those words? Thank you so much. And I love that you have visual aids. First of all, let's they just, just magic. I love it. This is fabulous. Let's just acknowledge that the size of Israel is the size of the state of New Jersey. So there are 21 Arab countries in the region, one Jewish state, and Jew, for some reason, Israel is the big bad wolf. You can barely find it on the map. It's a tiny piece of land. The Jordan River over there to the east and the Mediterranean Sea. When people say from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, they mean that piece of land completely clean. So ethnically cleansing the Jews from their ancestral land. Why is this anti-Semitic? It's anti-Semitic because if you don't allow only the Jewish people to have a state, if you're an anti-Zionist, you're saying, I'm not anti-Semitic, I'm just an anti-Zionist. Well, then which other country would you like to dismantle? Usually the answer to that is none, just Israel. So people that are obsessing over Israel are anti-Semitic, and that means cleansing that particular piece of land, which is the Jewish people's um, ancestral land. It would be very similar, but not nearly as commentary as to say, get everything from the Atlantic to Pacific, south of Canada, north of Mexico. Yeah, America will be free.